Dear learners and listeners, Namaskar. We shall start with social sciences as an academic discipline. As the name itself suggests, social sciences is concerned about society. It aims at understanding all aspects of society as well as finding solutions to deal with social problems. It is a broad area of knowledge and includes several different disciplines under this domain. The main ones that you need to know at this stage are history and archaeology, geography, political science, sociology and economics. Now, after you have gone through this video, I hope you have understood the following points. I hope you have been able to establish that study of social sciences includes disciplines like history, geography, economics, political science and sociology and make a link. You are also able to appreciate that all these subject areas are interconnected. It is very important to do this in social sciences and together form the knowledge mass of social science. Discuss the different stages through which human societies have evolved and of course identify opportunities and challenges of our present day society. The various videos of this course in social sciences are connected with these very subjects. In this episode, we will try to understand the discipline of social science. We will understand that importance of studying social science and how closely it is related to our lives. We will talk about history not simply as a set of facts about our past, but also learn from them. Social science also helps us to acquire a capacity to make interconnections between various events and various subjects. We will learn to draw linkages between events and processes of development across the time. This will help us to draw connections between our past, our present and our future. Now let us discuss about these subjects to understand their impact on our lives. How do you think studying the subject of social science at secondary level will help you to understand better the society around you? Now, an academic discipline or a field of study is a branch of knowledge that is taught at various levels of education and researched at university level. Any field of study has several subdivisions or branches. These may at times overlap. Now, some important branches or sub-disciplines of social sciences which are economics, history, archaeology, Geography, political science and sociology will help you understand our society better. You would be surprised to know that in the beginning there was only one discipline and that was philosophy. Philosophy means love for wisdom or knowledge. Now that is why even now the highest degree in any subject is PhD, doctor of philosophy. Later, when knowledge started increasing and expanding, a need was felt to classify knowledge into different disciplines. Science and social science came to be differentiated. Both refer to different aspects of our reality. Environment science deals with knowledge regarding the natural and physical world. But social sciences, on the other hand, deals with knowledge concerned with all aspects of society and human beings themselves. Let us begin with history, history and archaeology. Now, what is history? History is an account of events that have happened in the past. It is about real people and real things. It does not deal with mere ideas and ideals or what should have been. On the other hand, it is a study of what has been history does not deal with individuals alone. It is concerned with nations and societies. It is not limited to kings and queens, but all human beings. It includes all men and women, rich and poor. 
irrespective of their background in terms of religion, caste, etcetera. Have you ever wondered how and what happened to our ancestors in ancient times? You will learn about this in this book. Now, while going through this course, note down all the events which seem interesting to you. Go to the libraries and search the internet to see if you can get more information on them. We of course at our end will help you in your search for more knowledge. Now, why do we study history? The study of history helps us to know our roots, strengths and achievements and gives us a sense of pride as well as direction. What we call progress would be non-existent if we do not have proper knowledge and understanding of our past. There is a general belief that history deals with the past, which we think is dead. In reality, our past has very important lessons for the present and of course the future. History records this legacy that has an important bearing on our lives. In essence, history relates the story of cooperative actions of a larger number of men and women in their quest for a better life. When we think of how we can know about our past, we get connected to archaeology. Often these past activities and achievements brings a sense of pride. Let us keep this heritage safe for our future generations. Now, archaeology is the study of the ancient times with respect to society and culture. The traces of those events can be found in material remains, that is, the artifacts, burials, ruined buildings, monuments, etc., and are studied by archaeologists. They interpret them to provide knowledge about the times to which these artifacts belong. The study of archaeology also includes the written records that are very ancient and cannot be easily deciphered or understood. These sources give us more reliable and authentic information. Most of the time, such traces are found buried underground and have to be dug out. This is called archaeological excavations. Mahenjadaro, Harappa and Nalanda are some well-known sites where excavations have been undertaken and valuable material found. Such excavations are often carried out and reported in the newspapers. A very interesting recent discovery is that the remains of a city found under the sea near Gujarat. It is believed to be Hindu god Krishna's city Dwarka. Rakhigari in Haryana is another very recent excavation. You must visit some such sites whenever you get an opportunity. Also, find out more about such sites in other countries also. Now, archaeological sources also include inscriptions, pillars, metal plates, coins, seals, monuments, tools, pottery, toys, pictures, etc. And they tell us about the culture of a particular period. Now look around your city or town for a museum or visit somebody's house which has a collection of some of these items. Make a list and then try and find out which period they belong to. For this, you can search on the internet or visit a library to know more about them. Today, a lot of information can be got from books, magazines and newspapers. So, learners, stay alert. Now, I am going to ask you some questions to find out whether you have really understood what I have been telling you. Can you list the main subjects that build up the knowledge area of social science? Do you think studying history is necessary and important? Can you give two reasons in support of your answer? Give one difference between history and archaeology. Can you list five sources? which can help us to study our past. Find out at least four archaeological sites in India other than those mentioned in the text. Now, we come to another very important part of social sciences. And yes, 
it is the study of geography. The study of history and archaeology remains incomplete without knowing something about the geography of that area being studied. Geography is the study of the earth's landscape, people, places and environment. In simple terms, it is knowing about the world in which we live. Geography is unique in bridging the social sciences that is human geography with the natural sciences that is physical geography. Now, geography plays an important role in shaping the life and history of any society. It helps us to recognize the differences in cultures, in political systems, economies, landscapes and environment across the world. It is also helpful to establish links among them. Geography provides an ideal framework for relating to other fields of knowledge also. If we know the geography of a country, we can understand what happened in history. Now, in this particular video, you will get to know that early humans made bows, arrows and other small tools. It is from studying geography that you get to know why. After ice age, changes in environment must have taken place. As a result, many dense forests might have become grasslands. Can you imagine what must have happened? Yes, it led to a growing population of grass eating animals like the deer, the goat, the sheep and the antelope. You also know that these animals can run fast. So hunting them was not easy with heavy weapons. These light stone weapons which the early humans had invented helped them in their survival. Do you know that the Indo-Gangetic plain is the most fertile land in India? This is because big rivers like the Ganga brings an abundant supply of fresh water for drinking and irrigation. That is why this land became the place for establishing big empires like those of the Mauryas, the Guptas and the Mughals. Availability of iron in abundance further helped in expansion of these empires. Now we are back again with another activity for you. Major cities such as Agra, Nasik, Patna and Kolkata are developed on the banks of big rivers. You will be surprised to find that history has been virtually created on them. Can you provide three reasons for the growth of these cities as major centers of trade and administration? Yes, go ahead, do it. Now, we come to another very important subject which is read in social sciences. Yes, you guessed it right, it is political science. Now, government is a word associated with political science. It is a word with which you are familiar. You often hear or read about it in the newspapers or on the television. Have you ever thought about what a government is? Do you know the role it plays in our lives and the important things it does for the people? The government of a country makes laws and everyone living in the country has to obey these laws. Yes, discipline is very important. Rights are very important. We must have our rights, but we can get these rights only if we do our duties. Now, in democracy, it is the people who give power to the government when they elect them. That is why our country, India, also has elections every five years. In this way, people help the parliament of that country to make laws. While in a monarchy, it is the monarch or king or queen who has the powers to take decisions and enforce them. Social sciences also deals with how we are governed. It also helps us to understand the role of people like us in the running of nations and governments. This discipline 
is very important and is called political science. It is a science concerned with theory and practice of politics and the analysis of political systems and political behavior. It also tells us how the government is elected. Political scientists study the relationship between the political events and the conditions. They try to understand general principles about the way the world of politics works. It includes studies on governments, public policies, political processes, systems and political behavior. Now, if you decide to study political science in senior secondary, you will learn more about political theory, political philosophy and political economy, which are the important branches of this subject. Now, this brings us to another very important topic and that is a proper subject today, sociology. Sociology is another very important part of social sciences. It is the study of human behavior in societal context. Sociology comes from the Latin word sociology. It literally means the study of companion. Sociology seeks to understand the structure of a society and how it works. It also seeks to define and understand the different factors that have shaped our society. This includes race, class, gender, culture, religion, belief systems and government. Sociology also studies the way individuals and group behaviors impact on the running of our society. Now we come to economics. It is an important subject and we should know about how we live. Life in a society also means that we must know how to organize our lives. We must know how to economize our income, time and resources because all of them are limited. You must also learn to organize your time in such a way so that you can manage to do things you want. Similarly, when we make a budget for our home, we make the best use of the resources which are available to us. We can avoid many problems in this way. We call this study economics. It is much more than making a budget. It is the scientific study of the ways in which humans make choices about what? About production, consumption and wealth. This becomes very important when we are faced with limited means. It is a social science of striking a balance between needs and available resources. Studying this subject will be more interesting if you apply the learning to real life situations. One such activity could be to make your household budget or timetable. History, geography, economics, political science, sociology help us to understand how the entire process of human progress and development takes place. For this, let us go back into our past. Step by step, we will get to know about the evolution of human beings on this earth. Do you know that we study about evolution in science too? But over there, we learn how evolution took place in nature, how plants and animals evolved. It is an interesting story of how the most highly evolved species, that is human beings, develop from less evolved animals. Do you know that the biological name of a species, human beings, is Homo sapiens? Now I am back again to ask you some more questions. Can you explain how geography contributes to the understanding of history? Yes, interesting, isn't it? Now let us come to the next question. Can you tell what sociology as a subject focuses on? What does the study of economics deal with? How 
do you think subjects like political science, sociology and economics helps you to understand the functions of the society better. Now this brings us to an end to understanding the discipline of social sciences. I am sure you will find social sciences very interesting and motivate you to learn more and more about the subject of social science. Thank you.